everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. Thank you for joining me for Try It Out Tuesday. Today we are using the Stampendous. This is called the Pop, um, the Pop Rose Teacup. Now there's a few stamp sets like this. I have an ice cream one. I think I showed it to you a while back. But I just think these are super neat. Um, they have the word pop in front of them because of this die set. This is the Pop Shapes die cutting dies. Um, this die set here, let me show you, will cut out the teacup and the flowers. Here's, I'll just take them out. Here's the teacup. And then we have the flowers, okay? But this mechanism here creates a pop-up. Let me show you. Right here in your card to where when you open the card, you can have items popping out. Um, this is, I think I have, well, I showed you. This is, I'll be making a card with this one um, for Try It Out Tuesday in the future But because I, I love ice cream. But this die set will cut that out also. You have... Um, I think this die set's pretty versatile because you have the flower pot here the, and then the ice cream cone, which are the same shapes. So this pot will cut out both of them. And I believe, don't quote me, but I believe that this die will cut out the cupcake, this flower, and the ice cream, I believe. Don't quote me. I will, I have this one. I just can't find the stamp set. Um, you actually wouldn't believe my craft room right now. But um, when I do find it, I will double check it to see. But I, I, think th I thought that was so neat. All of these are pop um, series. So you can add these on the inside of your card to where they would pop out like this. But I'm going to use the dice for that. We're not going to create a pop out card. We're going to create a gift card holder on the inside. But I do want to use the dice for this. So I just wanted to share with you what that little thing is for. Maybe we'll do a card in the future with the ice cream cone with that one. Okay. So we're going to use our rose teacup stamp set. And then to create our gift card holder. Very, very easy to do. This is actually... Um, called the mini slimline cutting dies and it is a four piece set but the the gift card piece will fit an a2 size card also and that is this piece and that's the one we're going to be using for an a2 size card so i'll take this out these actually create an envelope for a mini slimline i thought that was really neat shows you how to use this um, on a mini slimline, but I'm going to show you how to do it on an A2. So we have a little versatility. So we have our dies. We're not going to do die cutting first. We're going to do inking and coloring with our teacup and our florals. And I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to use my zig markers today and I'm going to stamp on some watercolor card stock. I'm using, um, the Tim Holtz watercolor card stock. Tim Holtz's watercolor card stock's really nice. Can I fit both of these on here? Yeah. Because it's a whiter color and one side has texture, the other side's a lot smoother. I'm going to use the smoother side for my project today. Whenever I watercolor, I like to use, um, I like the heat emboss. So we are going to start by treating our watercolor cardstock with some anti-static powder. And then I'm going to take my stamping positioner and we're going to stamp the teacup and the flowers. I'm going to stamp the flowers two times so I have another piece of watercolor cardstock here. I'm going to go ahead and pick our image up with our my stamping positioner and I'm going to stamp with my VersaFine Onyx Black ink. We're going to go over both of these. I'll stamp these and then, wow that's so pretty. I'm going to go over these images with clear embossing powder. Now I think we'll go gold. 
Let's go gold embossing powder. I'm going to go ahead and use my heat gun. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to melt this embossing powder. So we have, um, for the most part, I think I'm just going to do one cup and then both of the flowers. Although I just want the flowers on one and then I'll do the full image on the other. Okay, let's zoom in and to color in my images, I'm going to use my zig markers. And okay, for my flowers, I'm going to use a yellow, a pink, and an orange leaves. I'm going to use two different shades and then the cup I'm going to be using two different shades of blue. Okay, and since we are doing water coloring, I am going to use my water brush to help spread out that color and then um, I think that's all we need. I'm going to go ahead and play a little music while I color and then when I'm done coloring, I will get you back. Coloring is all done. I'm going to go ahead and what we're going to do now is this one I did a little bit um, less detail on the flowers because we're going to actually fussy cut this flower out and then die cut out um, this arrangement here. I am glad that we're able to die cut out the handle because I did get a little bit of ink on the inside of the handle. So I'm going to fussy cut these flowers and die cut out these two images and then I will be right back. Everything is all die cut out and I even die cut out some pop-up um, pop foam. What we're going to do is go ahead and glue down our cup to our foam. Since this is watercolor cardstock, the paper does warp a little bit. So, weighing this down will give us, we'll weigh this down with acrylic block. And then I'll do the, the same thing 
to this foam, although I am going to use my scissors and trim the bottom half off. This part's going to be overhanging on my coffee cup, and so I'm just going to trim this bottom half off. And I think that's plenty. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, we'll add a little glue. And we will layer this. Let's see. Just want to leave that open because this is going to overhang on here. Okay, and then we will weigh those down and let those secure. And then these, normally I like to go over these with the black marker. But since we heat embossed, I can't do that. I don't want to, maybe we could. Maybe it'll stand. Let's go ahead and try it. I don't know what, I could ruin it. I might have to redo these. But my cut lines aren't the greatest. And so going over it with a marker will help those cut lines, but I don't want it to ruin the embossing powder, the gold embossing that we did. Okay, I went around the edges with my black marker, and you can still see the gold, so I'm going to go ahead and flip these around, and we'll add some foam squares. We'll get these ready, and then we're going to create our pocket and our background for our card base. So we'll put these off to the side with these. To create our gift card holder, it's very easy. This is an 80 pound weight piece of white cardstock. I'm gonna fold it in half. This is half of a, a standard sheet. I'll just reinforce this with my bone folder. And then, there's perforated edges on here, which makes it nice for scoring. And this is an open end here. So put the open end of the die on the fold line of your cardstock here. And then you can tack this down and then run this through your die cutting machine. I ran this through my die cutting machine. This piece just pops off. We don't need that middle piece. And you can see, if you open it up, this is what it looks like, like a tissue box. <laughs> but if you go ahead and what you want to do is just reinforce those score lines. So on both sides, because you basically want it to look like this. So just fold the score line up on both sides. You don't need to use a bone folder with this because you're going to use glue to secure it. Okay, this is going to go on the inside of our card, but in the meantime, we want to work on the outside of our card. So I have a panel. This is a four inches by five and a quarter inch panel of white cardstock. I want to do a little bit of embossing with this. Of course, so I'm going to use this is called the Spellbinders Party Dots whole bunch of different circles on here but I want to stamp some sentiment on the bottom and obviously you can't stamp on a embossed um, panel so I'm going to leave about three quarters of an inch showing outside of my embossing folder here when I run it through the top will emboss but the bottom will leave me that strips where we can stamp our sentiment this is what my panel looks like, like after we ran it through our die cut machine. I'm going to put this in my stamping positioner. And I'm going to stamp um, my sentiment on the very bottom. And I think I want a cup of a cup of gratitude. A cup of courage. We all need a little bit of strength. So let's grab a cup of courage. I know I need a whole bunch of that right now. <laughs> Let's stamp a cup of courage at the very bottom. Now I'm going to stamp with my VersaFine ink. And I'm just going to keep it black. Lovely. And while we have our stamping positioner out, I'm going to use a piece of white cardstock. Okay, and then I'm also going to stamp on some white cardstock for a friend. A 
It's stamped with black ink also. I'm going to take this panel and I'm going to trim a little bit off the top because I want some black and white stripes on the very bottom of my panel. So I'm going to take off a half of an inch off the top. And then I have some black and white striped paper we're going to put on the very bottom. My card base today for my gift card holder is a side folding card. It's going to make it easier to put our gift card holder on the inside. I'm going to go ahead and add some tape to the very bottom of my card base. Just using my tape runner. And then I'm going to take this panel and I'm going to add it directly to my card base. And I'm going to line up the bottom of this to the, the, the bottom of my stripe paper. And we'll just do that using tape runner. Okay, after we have that adhered, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my card. And then we have the gift card holder. To, to put it in, in the card, it's very easy. What I'm going to do is just flip it around. I'm going to add adhesive to both sides here. And then I'm going to fold, fold it like this. And then since this is not five and a half inches, I'm going to fold it flat and I'm going to place it in the middle right on our score line of our card base. Well, just below it, I should say. And then I'm going to close it, hold it down, close it. I'm going to seal it really good. And then when you open it, you'll have something that looks like this. Very easy to do. And it folds absolutely flat. almost flat. Okay, and you have plenty of room to write a little message in here. I lightly tacked my card close because it wants to open up, but now we're going to decorate the front of our card. So we have our coffee cup. I'm going to add some glue behind it. I'm going to place this just above my sentiment. And then I'll add some glue behind here and also down on the bottom. And we'll tack this down. I'm going to use my, um, I'm going to use an acrylic block and hold that down. In the meantime, I'm going to trim down my For a Friend sentiment. Okay, after we have this trimmed down, I'm going to flip this around and put a foam square behind here. And then I'm going to add this right over the top. I'm going to lower this down just a little bit or over a little bit. Then we can layer these sentiments right over the top. This flower here, I don't think I'm going to add foam tape to. I'm going to just add this directly to the front. So we have different layers of flowers. I think that's going to work out better. Okay, I'm going to take some black and white baker's twine. I'm going to tie a bow with this. And using a glue dot, I'm going to see, we're going to make it we're going to make it look like a faux tag here. So let's add a glue dot behind the knot of the bow and tack that down to our little tag there. And then we can trim away the tails of our bow. And then for some sparkle, we're going to bring in some Color Essential Gems. This is the Spectrum AB. And we will use our tool in one and go ahead and add a few gems. Okay. 
And that will finish my card today. Got a little bit of dimension, but not too much. And then when you open it up, what you do is you can take a gift card, maybe to a coffee house or um, an ice cream shop. You can put it right in there, write plenty of room to write your message on the front or on the back. And if you wanted to cover, the seams to me aren't that noticeable, but if you wanted to cover them up, you could. But I think that would make a nice little gift card holder for a friend. That's my card for today's Try It Out Tuesday. I hope you enjoyed my project. We'll see you next Tuesday for another project. Have a wonderful day, and we will see you again real soon. Bye.